Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Growing This Home. Today, I am really excited to um, share with you guys some Posca basket ideas for this year. Um, if you are a seasoned Orthodox Christian, then you may not need this video, but I think you should still stick around because there's some awesome shops that I want to share with you guys. Um, but if you are a convert or you're currently a catechumen, this video may help you because my first year I was like, what do you put in a Pascha basket? Okay, so you have just journeyed through Lent for 40 days and you are like, man, you know, I really don't know what to put in my Pascha basket. Um, our church, every year we bring our Pascha baskets to the um, midnight service on Holy Saturday. So I guess it's technically Sunday. Um, and you put the Pascha baskets at the front and they're to be blessed. Um, I will share some pictures with you guys about previous years, um, what I put in my Pascha baskets. But this year I wanted to do a little bit um, of something different just because as I have grown and been more active on social media, honestly, um, I have discovered all of these wonderful shops that I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, and I feel like, you know, they have a lot of stuff to put in their Pascha baskets. So um, let's just start with some basic, basic ideas. Um, if you are doing an adult basket, obviously you put things um, that you fast to do um, Lent. So usually I do some sort of sweet. Um, I really love cookies and brownies. So I tend to add those um, liquor. Obviously I love red wine. So I usually throw a bottle of red wine in there. Um, and as you can check out in my highlights on Instagram, you guys have seen me have those huge red eggs, um, even the small wooden red eggs, and I tend just to throw those in for some decor. Um, and then, you know, I tend not to add gifts, but that's what I'm changing this year. So I really, really am excited to share with you. So the first thing I wanted to share is something like this. So this is just an embroidered cross. Um, there's several shops online that you can find. This one specifically, so gorgeous. I love all the intricate detail. Um, I'll let you guys take a peek at that. And this is from The Cross Stitcher. Um, Natalie is the owner of the shop and she does an amazing job. If you are considering adding something embroidered, I would definitely like jump in right now to make sure you get your order placed um, before Pasca. Another thing um, that you can add is if you go to Draw Near Designs, they tend to have these little cards. Um, they're prayer cards. They have a ton of stuff in their marketplace um, and in their shop. Definitely check those out. Um, the idea of just adding maybe some cards or even these prayer cards, that would be a great gift. Um, and then the last thing, actually no, sorry more things. These prints I wanted to share with you guys. Um, they're from Amelia's Post. Kelsey Lawson is her name. So just doing something like a print or um, you know even if you framed it to put on your wall. These are all wonderful ideas. And you guys the wonderful thing about these shops is that these ladies specifically the ones that I am working with right now. Um, they spend a lot of time on their art and they're very like prayerful over it. So you're receiving something that has like been prayed for. Prayed for. Um, and there's just a lot of intricate detail. Um, and then the last idea for a woman's basket would be this wonderful prayer companion by Sylvia, Orthodox Mom Blog. Um, you guys have seen me talk a lot about this and that would just be a wonderful gift to add. So I'm going to link, of course, all of these shops down below. Um, I'll even link their Instagrams if you're on Instagram um, and I'll probably post something about it. You guys can also just follow the link to their page and then go ahead and click from their shops there. All right on to kids baskets. I feel like kids baskets are obviously so much easier because you're kind of like, okay, you know, fill them with toys, fill them with fun things. I tend to shy away from the idea that they need 
more toys and more junk. Um, personally, not a huge fan of just getting a ton of eggs and filling them with random candies, especially candies that are bad for you. So this year, I'm going to be filling their baskets with little tiny icons. Um, they might get, you know, a toy or two, um, but I also really want them to participate in them this year and just figure out like what they're going to give up. Um, sorry, I'm like pulling it out, of course. So this is a toy um, that I just found at Target. It's a little shark LED light. Um, the boys' room currently is um, sea themed. So this would just be a good toy, it's useful. And of course, because it's spring, um, this little set from Hearth and Hand, I absolutely love. Very springy with all the little farm animals. I did pull the donkey out already. Um, that was part of my traveling nativity set. And also, Draw Near Designs sent me a wonderful little coloring book that you guys totally should add. They have a Pasca to Pentecost. So what a perfect time, right? Because I've already journeyed through Lent, now it's Pasca. And then this kind of just keeps them engaged. And I don't feel like, you know, it's for a specific age. Even toddlers could definitely do it. There's some great pages in here. Um, I really, really am loving this. So I'm gonna show you guys some pictures real quick um, of some Pasca basket ideas and I hope you enjoy that. Hey guys, so um, this vlog as promised it's gonna have kind of two parts to it. Um, so this is the second part being recorded, honestly, probably like a month later. I wanted to add to this vlog um, the second portion just because we didn't expect um, Pasca to look like this. And, um, you know, for a lot of us, the Pasca baskets have a lot to do with us breaking the fast and some fun things that we've given up. Um, so I just wanted to offer you guys um, another option. It's still fun to celebrate, it's still fun to have the Pasca baskets, and it's sometimes it's kind of nice just to give yourself um, some new things to help you in this current season of life. Um, so with that said, I'm just going to jump right in and um, hopefully this one helps. So this is the adult um, basket specifically for women. Some lotion. Um, in there for some self-care. Um, this one is the Hermitage Hand and Body Lotion um, and it's lavender. And then it's from the Holy Cross Monastery in Wayne, West Virginia. Um, I'm adding a little diptych. Um, you can get succulents or plants. Um, I think I'm going to go get some more seeds and I really want to focus on um, planting and bringing in new life in this spring season in this new way of life right now um, so we don't honestly know how long we're gonna be in quarantine so I think having some seeds and being able to work with our hands is really great um, I'm adding a notebook this one I just got from Target for a few dollars um, just to journal journal your thoughts and your feelings and your prayers and set goals for, you know, when we leave this quarantine, what did we learn from it? Um, both internally and externally, like what did we see, you know, see our neighbors doing? Um, what did we take away that we don't want to go back to, honestly? So there's some good lessons that can be learned and it's always good just to keep a journal, um, but give yourself a new one. You know, sometimes it's good just to start fresh and have something new. Um, and also this by New Rome Press. It is the Mother of the Light prayer book. Um, 
and it's purse with Theotokos. It is so beautiful inside. It is, like, I just love it. It's so soft and it's pretty, and you can see the icon on the front. So, I'm keeping my basket very simple, um, only because I want to focus on, like I said, the new life and focusing inward and bringing the sense of prayer and stillness. Um, and so that's what my Pasca basket will look like this year. Okay, so with the boys' Pasca baskets, I'm kind of sticking to the same theme um, with new life, and I also want to encourage us to be outside more. And so that's kind of how I focus the baskets, more hands-on um, and outdoor toys. So first thing I wanted to show you guys, my favorite portion of Target is the dollar spot just because I feel like it's a gold mine always. Um, so they have right now these like little mud baking thingies, baking, it's like dishes to make mud pies. Um, so I just grabbed a few and right now they have everything 50% off, so that made all of this 50 cents. Um, and I actually got three of those bowls in for August. And comes with little shovels. So that's the first thing that I'm going to throw in there for them. Um, I did get one of these little rainbows. I've been seeing them everywhere. And I was just really excited to get some more building blocks. Um, these I've not taken out of the package yet. These are from Boone. Um, and they're just little squirt guns. And I'm really excited for the boys to have them. I got them some new cups. This is from Replay. Um, and they're just like recycled plastic cups. And there's three of them in here, and I think it was like $9. I got some Boone boats for the water table. This was also from Target in the dollar section. It's a little bug catcher. This is from Amazon. It is a hot mess. Um, but my goal is to paint all of these eventually and have some fun toys for the boys that are learning. That was a few dollars off of Amazon. All of this was like very cheap. I was trying to find some simple solutions that were also very affordable. Um, so we didn't spend a ton of money and we never buy new baskets. So we always just reuse the ones we already have. But that's a way to save money. We do have the Pasca to Pentecost coloring book from Draw Near Designs. Um, love it. This one's going to Hudson. Um, I Pray Today. Um, I've been wanting this book. This is going to go to August. Um, he's 22 months. I ordered this book for Athen. It is my little liturgy book. Um, and I got this off of the Draw Near Designs website, and it's the Potomitis, I don't know how to say this, but it's that publishing company right there. They make all of those wonderful little books for kids. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is $5, and shipping was $1. Uh, let's see. I just got these little candied eggs from Sprouts, and then so our local Kmart is going out of business, um, and I was able to go in there and find some watches for the boys. I was not looking for them, but they happen to only be, um, I think, $3 each, and so Hudson and Athen will get their own little watches, um, and then I got some bath toys for them. These are the Boone Jellies. I think these were also under $10. So total for all the baskets, I probably spent maybe $50. Not quite positive, but it wasn't a lot. And being since we're making four baskets out of all the stuff, I don't really feel like that's a bad deal at all. So um, I would say just to encourage you, 
If you're feeling like you don't want to do pasta baskets this year, I totally understand. I felt the same way and was like, you know, I'm not going to do this. But then I really thought, no, this is a tradition that I want to continue even in this new dilemma that we're in. And even in quarantine, I want to be able to do something with the boys. I'm really excited about Pasca this year, um, and I hope that you guys are too. I hope that you guys will still make Pasca baskets in your own way. Um, I think that we're gonna potentially bake some Prospero just to have with us um, to break the fast. I don't know, we're still coming up with ideas daily, and I just hope that um, you guys are able to enjoy and celebrate the Paschal season, even if we're not in church. So please, please, please tag me in any of the Pascha baskets that you post. I want to see what you guys ended up doing. Um, and if you have themed baskets, please share them with me. You can leave it in the comments below. Um, DM me on Instagram or tag me in your post on Instagram. My handle's at Growing This Home. And I look forward to seeing you guys all on the next vlog. All right, talk to you later, bye.